So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel the IIT Encoder. In the earlier video we had seen how we can basically send an email to for resetting the password or for email confirmation to the user using MongoDB. So I hope you had followed the video and you were successful in sending the link. In this video we will be seeing how we can exploit that link to open some page in our app and reset the password accordingly. So we can do this in two ways. I will be showing one way which I feel is good for now as we are making only an Android application. The other, the other thing relates to basically a web page. Like if you have an application like a website, you can use that also to reset the password. So let's move forward. Also one more thing, I am planning on having a doubt session relating to uh, the, all the doubts regarding MongoDB, Android Studio, web development, app development, anything. So, if you have any doubts and you want a live stream of this doubt session so that I can look at your projects, guide you, and we can have a chat on what are the various aspects I need to cover in the next video, any issues you are facing, any errors you are facing with anything you are stuck. And if you want such a session, Please just leave a yes in the comment section so that I can know if anyone around is interested in that live stream session so that we can have it. We will be probably having it at night on Sunday, the upcoming Sunday. So do keep this in mind and it would be a good motivation. So let's move forward. So I have made this reset password activity. Just go to new activity create a reset pass basic activity empty activity and name it reset password activity so let's design this uh, let's not design it anything let's just keep it basic nothing confirm nothing just uh, linear layout uh, text view match parent trap content id is password and slash star button match parent wrap content text is submit I I'm just keeping it for now because ID is submit and slash star slash arrow orientation vertical margin text size 15 spdp uh, hint password margin uh, or wait let's provide a gravity center gravity center yeah so okay let's make this 150 too large 30 works so yeah this is you can make this anything so let's just make a text view oh we need to make it an edit text sorry edit text that's better it vanished why text color black yeah so that works now basically edit text password button submit now what we will do is just initialize them password will be equal to i just follow this typecasting thing where you just like it if you don't want it you can omit it so r dot id dot i guess i named it password yeah i keep on forgetting 
what I named the things submit equals button. So this is quite straightforward. You can just ignore this for now. Submit. Yeah. So now we are ready for the main part. The main part of this is see, we received some link, kind of this. Click this link to reset your password and this this clue. It opened this thing. Now what should I do? I have I need to open it in my app. So not epsilon. Yeah. So I will go to Android manifest. There will be a dot reset password activity. Here I can configure an intent filter. So this is the intent filter. Action Android name dot view default and browsable. These are the categories and the actions that I have added. Next, what I can add is basically a, a scheme and a host. So as you can see here, scheme is HTTPS and host is anything where it is followed by this. Like here it will be com slash reset password. So that slash reset password you can actually exploit in some website. So, if, so it will be the IITN coder dot. It should be exactly what you have typed in the MongoDB. So slash reset password. So it's showing an error. Post matching should only use lowercase characters. Fine. So let's remove this. Okay, fine. The iitencoder.com. And uh, I can also type slash reset password. That works. Yeah. Typo in. Reset password. No, it's right. Yeah, it's right. So it will be exactly what I had configured in the MongoDB client. If you remember, I had coded this domain. So it will be exactly this. Now there are two things that MongoDB sends along with this email. So we will do an intent intent. Uh, basically, you know what intent is for in android so we will import intent and intent will be equal to get intent so it is just like if you are getting into this app from another page like whenever you do the activity switches you do intent only start activity by intent etc it is the same thing just from a link so intent will be equal to get intent now we can have string data1 comma data2 these are basically the token and the see these are the tokens a uh, token and a token id so data1 will be equal to intent dot get so just just yeah so let's just make another URI variable. So URI data. Uh, let's just import URI and data would be equal to intent dot get data. Now data one will be equal to intent. Oh sorry, will be equal to data dot get query parameter. token and data to equals data dot get query parameter token id so these two are the only things that we require for resetting password and these are valid for 30 minutes i guess and you can use them in a function here so basically submit dot set on click listener new on click listener so what it will do is i haven't configured the app here so app so string app app control c 
this is easier rather than typing the whole thing again and i've already walked you through everything so I'm not doing that again so if you want me to do that again please tell me so we can solve everything in the live session on sunday please do leave it in the comment section if you want it and if you want me to cover any specific things in that so i can even share the meet link we will see so now i have created the app instance okay so what i can do here is it let yeah so sorry yeah, i had to also for a second yeah so what we will do is app dot get email password dot reset password please do it asynchronously uh, non asynchronous tasks non asynchronous tasks are a little errorful so reset password async send data one data two basically the token comma token id send password dot get text dot to string and then a result arrow the same thing now is if result dot is success sorry for that irritating noise log dot v reset comma success and otherwise log dot v reset comma result dot get error dot to string so this concludes this and a reset password is working so here you can basically intent it so intent intent equal to new intent reset password activity dot this comma main activity dot class and then start activity then so so this will basically uh for work for you and this will reset the password so this is all we had to see in this video and we have successfully reset the password i cannot demonstrate the testing to you because i am working on a laptop currently i don't have a phone linked to it so because if i currently run it on an emulator then i can't open the link from here like if i click on this it will open in the browser itself if i open in the phone browser then it will give me an option of if i want to open it in the app itself and when you click on open in the mongodb realm course app then it will open it in the app it will open this reset password activity you type the password it will reset it and you are done so that's all for this video please stay tuned please do like share subscribe and please do leave it in the comments if you have any doubts and you are willing to attend the live session on sunday so thank you very much